weird sculptures by the side of the Thames. This one's by the other two. low at this time of the day. Quite a lot of mud flats exposed. Looks like a cormorant out on the mud flats, drying its wings, probably been diving for fish. by the Greenwich Dome. It remains a section of a ship that's been cut away. I wonder how many years since that was on the uh, water. Beauty growing wild by the pavement. Hollyhocks, lovely colour. And more hollyhocks growing here. These ones are a light pink. Lovely to see these uh, sort of things growing wild. May have self seeded, may have been planted originally. One of many patches of wild buddleia or butterfly bushes growing alongside the Thames in full flower here early in July. It's a source of great sadness really to me. There was a time not many years ago when you'd go past these bushes even in London and they would be absolutely covered in bees, insects and butterflies. And at the moment I'd feel lucky to even see one bee. Certainly no butterflies. Very sad that that's what the, uh, the City of London has come to. And that's probably another one that attracts uh, Butterflies. Oh, move out of the way so they so, get run over. <laughs> they, um, very sad that uh, that kind of insect life is virtually non existent in London to how it used to be. Anyway, on with the walk. A pub with a very famous name Cutty Sark. Named after the ship that I'll be walking past shortly. little parade of historic houses here next to the pub. No time's going for a drink today. Under the walk. This beautiful old uh, pub here. It's a Greenwich, it's a Trabalgar Tavern. Thought I'd stop and take pictures of it. It's right on the waterfront. Next to it, we've got the uh, National Maritime Museum. I think that's what it's called, this section, which I'm walking along. Lovely building, and of course, you can walk straight along the uh, right up the horse front here. Oh, it's windy, you don't need to hear me. It's very breezy along here. It's been very cold so far for the last two or three weeks, but it's not too bad today. A little bit of sun out, it's cloudy as well. It's going to rain later, but um, hopefully I'll be able to uh, finish my walk and avoid that. Uber boats on the Thames, that's the uh, river taxi service. Glorious day, by the 
going to make here very cold. Greenwich. Haven't yet been inside it, it's fully restored now. And will at some stage <laughs> pay it a visit. It's probably extremely expensive. There's a lot of sites on in London. This is the entrance to the foot tunnel if you wanted to cross from Greenwich to the other side of the Thames under the river. Got the carousel here, merry-go-rounds. swans in one place. Look at that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, about 15 swans in total all sitting behind the uh, water side on the beach. Quite an unusual sight I would say on this part of the Thames. Fascinating. Enjoying the sunshine, sunbathing. What an impressive little tropical garden someone's got here. Their little bit of paradise, tree ferns bananas, presumably bashu. That's about all they've got actually. Bananas galore. No signs of flag leaves on them, but it's nice to see the uh, bananas. Have a kitty cat. Enjoying the rest. Looks quite elderly to me. Well, for anyone interested, I'm walking past the ancient mulberry tree today, again. I walked past in the spring when it was dormant. Believed to be circa 1698. And it does actually have mulberries on it. I wouldn't consider them necessarily edible. I don't know what species it's going to be. But very, very small fruits. Oops, sorry, out of focus. Dried out. Not sweet, well, it's just got some sweetness. Oh, it's a very old tree, <coughs> and I would say the fruits are quite, it's quite deformed now, and the fruits are quite stunted, but it is carrying a few, a few fruits. It's got obviously a very weeping effect, but I think that's because of its age. But um, obviously, uh, it's a joy to see it's still got fruits on it at this age, even if they're not uh, not easily accessible or worth eating. Anyway, I thought it might interest people on with the walk. So although this is part of my um, walks video, I'm also doing a standalone video for this. We're at Surrey Docks Farm, and the reason I've stopped here, as well as to have a coffee, is there are some pineapple guava or Fijawa plants here which I thought I'd stop and have a closer look and feature um, in actual fact that one there has got plenty of flowers on it Let's see if I can zoom in a bit still got loads of flowers on it at the end of uh, sorry beginning of August and I can see some hoverflies around it now I just wanted to have a closer look at the other plants which I think from the looks of things have flowered and I just wondered if there was any fruit set on them. Um, I can see in there that it looks like swelling on the back of um, some of the flowers. You won't be able to see on here. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer here. Uh, these look to me as if they're not dropping. 
so there's a very good chance that this might produce some fruits on it. Now I'm, I'm going to guess they're, they're multi-stem, so I'm going to guess they're seedling growing unnamed plants, or at least cuttings rooted from unnamed plants. Um, whether or not they will produce a decent edible fruit remains to be seen. What I might do is, if I got to, if I remember to come back here at the end of October, just to see what sort of uh, fruits there are, if any, on them. So the other ones flowering a lot later. I think those are the only ones here. Row of three. Let's just walk around. Can't remember if there are any others. You can see they've got a muser. Presumably Bashib at the back. Seems to be doing okay. Borage or borage. There's quite a few edibles being grown in this garden. But yeah, I can only see three Fijoas or pineapple guavas here. As I said, they've all flowered. So it will be interesting to see. They look pretty healthy. It'll be interesting to see if they fruit. That one's covered in flowers still. Looks like they cut it back. But I thought that would interest people particularly interested in pineapple guavas. And I'll, as I said, I'll try and feature them later in the year for anyone interested. And as regards my walk, obviously I'll tap that into my walk video and carry on. Anyway, thanks for watching if you've watched that standalone video. This looks beautiful, this pub outside. Look at this fabulous display. The blacksmith's arms. Very, very pretty. Almost worth stopping for a drink. I think perhaps today I will carry on as I need to get home and do some things in the garden. That famous London microclimate. Huge bottle brush plant, unlike mine that was destroyed by the cold. Zero damage, obviously flowered massively putting loads of new growth out as well. Beautiful. I'm not sure mine's recovered actually. It's put up some new shoots but they may have died now and I have to have a closer look at it when I do a garden tour. Wonderful to see this doing so well. Very sheltered area along here. Got calder lines. There's palms along here. Just a very sheltered bit of ground right next to the uh, right next to the Thames nice and mild Could probably grow somewhere like an avocado here if you were interested anyway, back to the walk well, that's not something I expected to see on this part of the Thames the Dixie Queen not an authentic paddle steamer or at least not with operating paddles at the back it's more a copy of a uh, Mississippi type steamboat but nevertheless I'm quite surprised to see it on this part of the Thames perhaps it's here regularly, I don't know looks like it'd be a bit of fun to go on I wonder if they do meals on board as well as having a bar yeah you can see it's got a fake here growing outside. Not totally sure they are, looks like a member, almost like a member of the jury, uh, ginger family. I mean I don't think it could be and it might be some kind of, I'll have to look it up later and check. They're familiar to me the flowers but I'm not sure what they are. They're growing next to Achipanthus outside in someone's baller so I guess they could plant them outside for the summer months or maybe it's simply a hardy bulb that I'm not very familiar with but certainly looks very interesting, very pretty. Just thought I'd stop and I'm sure if someone watching knows exactly what they are before I've had a chance to look it up they'll better tell me. 
this building on the south bank always fascinates me because I consider it a lesson in how to pinch extra space when you're building a building that's obviously a penthouse apartment but uh, they've extended the apartment or room out across the road by several metres. I'm not sure how they got planning permission to do it, but what a clever way to increase the size of an apartment over and above the footprint of the building. Remarkable piece of uh, building work. Love it. And some lovely buildings around here. New, new buildings near the. Uh, getting near to uh, Tower Bridge now. Well, that one fascinates me. You can see how far it comes out from the building line. Great job, whoever owns that apartment. Very fortunate. So I'm getting close to Tower Bridge now. Nice view. If you're coming to London, it's a must see site. Thank you for joining me on parts of that walk today. If you did, miraculously, the sun is still out. It's a little bit warmer than it has been for, well, weeks almost. Probably going to rain again later according to the weather, but at least I can get a bit of work done in the garden. I've done uh, just over eight miles today, about 20,500 steps, I think, according to the pedometer, if it's accurate. Okay, thanks for joining me. Please give me a thumbs up, uh, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and I'll see you in the next video, which will be a tour of the garden, in fact. See you all later, Brett out for now.